good morning children good morning i am your english teacher today let us continue with the lesson boli children boli's father got irritated with her behavior and shouted that he was taking her to school he then told his wife to dress her up because he did not want others to think ill of them so it was for the first time that boli got clean clothes to wear although it was her elder sister champa's own out dress she was bathed and her messy hair was washed and oiled such a treatment made her believe that she was going to some better place than her home in the class the lady teacher was teaching something but boli could not understand it she was just looking at the various pictures on the wall which were beautiful boli was attracted towards them there was a picture of a brown horse that resembled the horse on which the tahsildar had visited their village there was also a picture of a green parrot which looked like the same parrots that she had seen in the mango orchard land planted with mango fruits there were also an image of a cow that resembled their own cow lakshmi while she was busy looking at the pictures she realized that the teacher was standing near her she asked boli her name ba ba bo she could stammer no further than that then she began to cry and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless flood she kept her head down as she sat in a corner not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her boli tried hard but stammered and could only say bo bo after this she began to cry and did not dare to look up as she was sure that all the other girls would be laughing at her when school was over the teacher came to boli and called her by her name boli was still crying with her head down the teacher's voice was very soft and boli had never been addressed with such affection before she felt so good that it touched her heart get up said the teacher it was not a command but just a friendly suggestion boli got up now tell me your name sweat broke out over her whole body would her stammering tongue again disgrace her for the sake of this kind woman however she decided to make an effort she had such a soothing voice she would not laugh at her ba ba bo bo she began to stammer well done well done the teacher encouraged her come on now the full name ba ba bho bholi at last she was able to say it and felt relieved as if it was a great achievement well done the teacher patted her affectionately and said put the fear out of your heart and you will be able to speak like everyone else so boli looked up as if to ask really the teacher tried to make her comfortable at the friendly manner she asked her name again do boli was hesitant and nervous she tried and was able to speak her full name the teacher praised her for the attempt and said that if she stunned fear she would be able to speak clearly boli was surprised to hear that she could speak clearly after this children now she says yes yes it will be very easy you just come to school every day will you come the teacher is asking boli children boli nodded no say it aloud yeah yeah yes and boli herself was astonished and that she had been able to say it didn't i tell you now take this book this book was full of nice pictures and the pictures were in color dog cat goat horse parrot tiger and a cow just like lakshmi and with every picture was a word in big black letters the teacher at once understood her curiosity and said that what she had said was the true and that if she came to school every day she would be able to speak without any problem then she inquired it if 
Bolly would come to school the next day. Bolly gave her approval by moving her head in up and down direction. The teacher prompted her to speak it loudly. This encouraged Bolly and she spoke yes clearly. She was surprised at her ability to speak clearly. The teacher again praised her and gave her a book full of pictures and of dog, goat, etc. with an alphabet written in big size along with every picture. In one month, you will be able to read this book. Then, I will give you a bigger book, then a still bigger one. In time, you will be more learned than anyone else in the village. Then no one will ever be able to laugh at you. People will listen to you with respect and you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer. Understand? Now go home and come back early tomorrow morning. Bolly was very happy. Her heart felt a rare type of happiness and she imagined that she could hear the bells at the temple ringing and imagined that the tree outside the school had red colored flowers on them. She felt a sudden beat in her heart that made her full of hope and happiness. Years passed and the village grew into a small town. Her primary school was now a high school. There was a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill opened in her town. Even the mail train started to halt at the village railway stations. So this is about this lesson, Boli children. Thank you all children. Have a nice day. See, I have given the question and answers and a few extracts will be given. Please complete it. Thank you all children.